So I just recently changed my optic from a Vortex Strike Eagle to a Sig Sauer MSR. And one thing that I've realized about running this optic is that the BDC is much harder to find information on and you can't really find definite information on holds and what to zero at so your BDC kind of lines up. Uh, it says right on the Vortex site to zero at 50 and it gets it fairly close. It's never perfect. BDCs are usually never perfect. So you'll look in your manual and you'll see a reticle like this. And if you look close, all it does is it gives you MOA numbers. And with that, you can do some information, uh, but you always have to calculate it. So I did some of that through a ballistics calculator and I tested it out and it was actually fairly close. So, like I said, one advantage to this Vortex is there's a lot more information on it. So, this was out of an 18.6 barrel, out of this Lockhart Tactical, and this was shooting Winchester White Box. So, you can kind of see the holds here, and I kind of labeled them, but then again, I'm not an artist. There's a reason that I joined the trades and didn't become an artist. But for a 36 meter zero, you can see that this first hash mark is going to be 416 meters and that's it's fairly close but you can see there's a definite gap there so i personally won't run a 36 meter zero for a 50 meter zero you can see it's still almost 400 meters for that first hash mark and then you can read all the subsequent hash marks honestly for me what i zeroed it at was 100 and you can see 360 441 all of all of those numbers um, I found that at least for the shooting that I did a hundred meters zero worked better for me uh, within the practical ranges that I shoot I found it was it was close enough that I really didn't care all that much um, but just keep in mind with all of this information it is ammo specific and it's barrel length specific specific because like I said this came out of an 18.6 barrel and there's another video that was recently uploaded and I'll show a screenshot of that guy that guy did a breakdown on this reticle and man oh man that was a fantastic video I learned a lot from it like if if you need any more information out of it that's the guy that you go to but at least for me, for an 18.6 barrel with that specific kind of ammunition, I choose a 100 meter zero, and then you can kind of uh, you can kind of make do with all of these numbers here. Um, but again, it'll just vary from ammunition to ammunition, stuff like that. So that's pretty much all I, all I have to say on the topic. So if this helped you out, just let me know. Uh, just feel free to like, and if it didn't, feel free to dislike. Thanks for watching, and have a good one.